What is up, everybody? I wanted to take a moment to look at the two state button component from No Code Monkey. Um, it's a pretty powerful component that works very similarly to just a regular toggle, except it looks and acts like a button. Um, and it lets you kind of do, you know, some interesting stuff. So you can engage and disengage a hyperdrive, for instance. Um, so I want to kind of look at this and then maybe one other type of application that you can use this for. Um, to, to do kind of what we did here with this, uh, with this uh, hyperdrive uh, button here, um, I've just kind of dragged in the, the two-state button from the marketplace. So it's just this one right here. Um, if you don't have it, you can, of course, you know, always install it from uh, the Adalo component marketplace here. You can just search for two-state button, and it's right here, um, and you can just install that. Once you've got it, you can drag it in. And the cool thing about this is that um, I've actually got this grouped as a button so that it's uh, pinned to the bottom of the screen so that it always stays to the bottom. But uh, once once I get into this, um, I've just got a basically just a true-false property set up in the user's collection. So you can see this here. Um, I've got a true-false called Hyperdrive Engaged. And essentially this button, that's all it does. It just changes the logged in user's hyperdrive engaged here, all right? So it can be used for that. Um, it can be used for true false type properties um, as, as the data source here. And we'll look at another example in just a second. Um, you can control whether it should toggle or not. Um, chances are if you're using this component, you are going to want it to toggle. Um, if you don't want it to toggle, you can just, you know, use probably a regular button if you wanted to. Um, we've got a, a selector here as well in the settings that lets us kind of preview what each version of the button looks like. So we can look at the active version and the inactive version of that button um, so that we can see what it looks like while we're editing it. We can change the, the button type, so whether it's a contain, outline, or text, just like a regular button. Um, we can change the active text, so you can see that, you know, the active text here is disengage hyperdrive. So this is what appears when uh, the property is true. And, and then if I turn this off, you can see what it looks like, um, you know, when it's, uh, when it's off. We've got it saying engage hyperdrive. Um, and these things are separated here in these styles here. So you can see active padding, active shadow, active rounding. You can change all the styling about that sort of stuff. And then we've got the settings for the inactive button type here as well underneath that. So we've got inactive button type, inactive text, the inactive button color, icon, all that sort of stuff. Tons and tons of styling options. I'm not going to get into all the styling options. You kind of you know, can kind of figure that out. It's pretty, pretty easy to figure out there. Um, but then you've got, also got some additional actions here, much like the toggle component that lets you perform additional actions only when it's turned on only when it's turned off or any time that the, that the, the, the two-state button is clicked. Um, and that's really helpful for performing additional actions on top of what you're doing with this data source here. So let's look at one more example. Uh, if you noticed in my example here, I've got something called Spacebook. And this is like uh, the Star Wars universe of uh, the Star Wars, um, I guess, version of Facebook. Uh, I didn't know it existed, but apparently it's a thing. Um, so what I'd like to do really is add kind of a like button to these posts. Um, I've got a list of posts here in my database. And we've got liking users. I've got a relationship here for, for liking users and a relationship to the creator of that post, right? So this is a many-to-many. -many. This is a one-to-many, right? A post can only have one creator. Then I've got a post image and a post text there, right? So what I really want to do is just grab a, another two-state button and kind of drag it into this list here. So I'm just going to grab this one here. We'll kind of add it to this. You can you know that it's in the list because it's repeating throughout it. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that if this logged in users liked posts includes this current post or not, right? So whenever they toggle this two-state button, it's going to either make it part of my liked posts or it's going to remove it from my liked posts, all right? So that's kind of the data source that we're going to hook it into. And that's made possible by those relationships in the database. 
Um, I do want this to toggle, of course, and I'm think I'm going to use a text button for this. So um, the active text here is if I've selected it, then I want it to tell me that I've liked this post, right? And maybe I want to use like a different color, like maybe like a nice blue color or something. Um, and then on the uh, inactive part here, you know, if we wanted to add an icon, we can add an icon there too. But uh, on the inactive part, maybe I want to say, since it's not a part of my likes yet, uh, I want to just set this inactive text to like. And maybe the, the inactive color of this is just going to be like a gray. And I think I'm going to make this a text button as well. All right. So um, we'll kind of maybe decrease this padding a little bit, make it fit a little bit better. And maybe match, match this one as well. Active padding. All right. And we can give this a quick preview so that we can see kind of what it's going to look like. So when they like it, it's going to like, you know, um, add it there. So let's go ahead and give this a quick preview and we'll kind of see this, uh, see this in action here. So let's go to Spacebook. Um, I really like this po post by Chewbacca. So we'll like this and we've got also, <laughs> yes, I kind of went all out on this, uh, and added a list within a list that tells you who liked this post. So, um, I'm logged in as Darth Sidious. Uh, I don't know why Darth Sidious would like this. He would probably like this one more. So, yeah, it's tons and tons of uh, functionality here with the two-state button. Again, it's really, really similar to the toggle. It just acts like a button. It looks and functions like a button, which is really, really nice. Um, so you can control it with, again, true state uh, properties, uh, true false uh, properties in your database, or you can control it, you know, you can control relationships in the database just like we did with like posts and users. And you can do this for lots of different things. You can save items this way. You can, you know, become friends this way, follow, you know, do follow, unfollow function this way, all sorts of cool stuff. Um, so that is the two-state button from No Code Monkey.